Hey peeps, what's up? <laughs> For real? What's up with me? Nothing. Just chilling. Actually sitting in the car waiting for these hours for my dad to get his treatments. So being that I'm just sitting here, I was thinking, had some stuff on my mind. So I was like, why not discuss it? I haven't had a good talk in a while. Been focusing mostly on cooking, of course, as you can probably see but got a lot of things going on a lot of things coming up a lot of changes that you will see eventually you see that smile come over my face that mean it's good 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 but anywho something i want to talk about which has led me to some of these changes that i will be experiencing in the near future is dealing with people who are trying to keep it nice because that's what my reputation is people who are severely damaged now I'm not going to get into it in detail because it would take me a year to upload the full video but, just in a nutshell, tell me what you think. I already know, but I'm just going to get your opinion. Because people are just so... There's no easy way to say it. Crazy as hell. Period. Period. And then I love when people do something and then they try to act like it's you. How is it you when there's 10 people involved in a situation and all 10 of them are saying the same thing about you, but all the other people have a happy kumbaya? So please accept responsibility. Anyway, let's talk about it. So I have this quote unquote supervisor. Baby, when I tell you something is wrong with her baby i want to say she needs jesus i really do but she definitely would not approve of that so as you guys know i'm a foodie i love everything food i eat sleep and breathe food everybody who knows me knows that right it's always about cooking what you got to eat can i taste it what's the new recipe you try give me this recipe you know always something food related so since i'm semi-retired we'll talk about that in another video but i claim to be semi-retired right at this point it's up to me how i want to navigate through the rest of the years of my life so I have chosen to be semi-retired, which means, you know, I dabble in, in gigs. I'm not even proclaiming um, jobs, not after 30 years of career. So just gigs, right? I might want to do six months on, six months off, three months on three months off three months on three months off it's totally up to me the possibilities are endless i have control so because i'm a foodie i was looking for something that i could use my food skills and feel comfortable and like what i'm doing you know for once you want to just do something that you enjoy doing so you have some options and you have some choices well, anyway, that's what I did. I, I chose a gig that I would be cooking, displaying to people, answering their questions, telling them how I did it, letting them watch me cook, uh, letting them buy certain items because they want to take them home and try it themselves. They love it, right? So you guys know I go by code. So, 
with so many different people getting to know me over the months that I've been doing this gig, I have really grown a, I don't want to say fan base, but I have grown a, a, a group of people who look for me when they come and they ask for me when they come and they want my advice or my opinion or what should I do with this chicken? What should I do with this fish? So all good, right? So they start joking and saying stuff like they call me Chef Co, which, you know, in my opinion, I am something like a chef. <laughs> so they say, Chef Co, what's up today? What you cooking? What you got? I know it's going to be good. And the purpose of the job is to get the people that you are interacting with to purchase as much as, of the items as possible, right? sales marketing um you know that goes hand in hand so i come in and immediately i'm thriving because it's food and you can tell that it kind of irritates the person because they want me to ask more questions they want me to be more lost they want me to be more dependent but i'm not like just show me where everything is and i got it i thought that was uh admirable you know or i thought that's what people would want in a in an employee but anyway i could tell it was kind of bothering the person so she's a miserable fart and i'm a sunflower So, when we walk in the building, sometimes together, everybody's like, good morning, Cole. What's up, Cole? How you doing? I'm like, good morning. How y'all doing? And what you cooking today? Oh, you know, I got steak. It's going to be on and popping. Oh, we can't wait. This whole building going to smell good, blah, 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 blah. So, she's walking with me. Nobody speaks to her. She doesn't even try to engage because they don't speak to her because of how she's presented presented herself thus far. But she gets angry. And then she'll say comments to other people such as I I make up I make too much noise or I keep up too much ruckus or somebody's always hollering at me and you know we laughing and talking and it's just too much. You know, trying to um question my professionalism baby one thing i can tell you for sure is co is professional she may be personable and she may laugh and she may talk but a professional i am so her trying to go there is just another crock of bull anyway she gets bothered by it but everybody droves around me and we chew the fat and what's up and what's down and what's around and you know i mean that's just who i am if you want to be a miserable introverted confused <sighs> okay stop right there go cool. anyway if you want to be a sourpuss then you be a sourpuss but i'm going to be who i am and if that bothers you then either a get on board <laughs> And maybe if you just smiled a little bit and wasn't so all frowned up all the time, maybe people would engage with you and interact. But anyway, she hated that. She gets mad, she gets mad, she gets mad. But it's been going back and forth for a long time. So I'm the kind of person, she's a bully. One thing a bully does not like is a person that can't be bullied. She bullies a lot of people that are there, but she can't bully me. So it bothers her. So when you can't do that, then you got to turn to petty ways to get at the person. Like putting them on the schedule, then taking them off almost when they walk in the door. And, um, you know, because everybody loves the fact that the person cooks and wants what they want and want to come taste and be around them, you don't give them cooking projects anymore. You give them peanuts, potato chips crackers you know because you don't want them to cook and and the whole place be smelling and everybody be whatever so that's your way of dealing with it very 
unstable, very vindictive, very conniving, very immature. You know, I mean, whatever. But you know what? My my theories on things are so different than most people because when you do something like that to me, I'm like, okay, hey, you know what? <laughs> if I want to get my love for cooking out, I cook at home. It's all good over here. If you want to give me peanuts, guess what? I'll sell the peanuts. If you want to give me crackers, guess what? I'm going to sell the crackers. So that didn't work. It backfired because even though she gave me things that she think nobody was going to be interested in, nobody was going to talk about, everybody wanted to know about the peanuts or they wanted to talk to me about the peanuts or the chips or the whatever. So what she didn't understand is it's not the product. It's the presentation and the person. So you can change the product all day, boo-boo. But people still are going to engage with me. And guess what? They bought peanuts. They bought crackers. They bought whatever that I was engaging in with them. Still bought it. Because they do this little report where it tells what your sales were for the day. And every time she gets mine, no matter what it is, it's sold out. The shelves are empty. There's boxes everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. So when you are an evil person and you try to block someone who is blessed, better than blessed, thank you, Lord. You, it's not going to happen. Nothing you can do. But anyway, she's she's done things over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over. So now it is has gotten to the point where you know she's. Um, She's nitpicking, and, and, and I read her her rights. Let's just be real. Let me tell you one thing about me. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. And I choose not to, but I can. If I come for you, you got. So, you know, I don't want to be that way. But it's in me. So, it's probably, I know it's in everybody. But mine is like... I can go eight years with you gouging, picking, turning, grinding, grinding. I can go eight years. Patience of Job. But when that eight year and the first day come, it might hit me, strike me like lightning. And when it do, them eight years of me being patient, being understanding, being kind, you know, letting you uh, slip and, and whatever, are going to come come for you you know but people do that some people just keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing because they want you to act a certain way for they can say oh she's angry oh she's uh what they call it she's bitter but no you asked for it you got it y'all remember that slogan i know i'm telling my age which we don't care so anyway so she started doing all that one thing led to another so the last time I saw her, she's very inconsistent. Sometimes she says, or no, all the time she says, oh, you don't have to stay the whole time. You can pull back early. You can do this. You can do that. You can do this. So all over the place, inconsistence, never, you know, everything's whatever. So now since she's really mad at me because I went off to this conference that she sent me to and I did good. And everybody liked me and I formed bonds and relationships and she saw pictures where everybody was smiling and hugging me. Um, it, it messed with her little self-esteem and her ego, which she thinks is sky high, but her actions show it's down low. So that was like the straw that broke the camel's back. She just couldn't take it no more. She just couldn't take it no more. She couldn't take it no more. So she started doing stuff and picking it, whatever. But I had already told her one thing about it. You're not going to have to figure it out with me. I'm going to tell you. Make it plain. I told her, me and her got into um, an altercation, and I told her, one thing about me is, you're not going to bully me, and you already know that, so I don't know why you're trying to play, and you're not going to intimidate me, you're not going to make me feel bad, you're not going to do any of those things, they don't work for me, so I told her, what I'm going to do is I am going to limit my interaction with you. I'm going to come. I'm going to do my job because I like it. And I'm going to do my duties after I'm done. And I'm going to go home. Period. So she had this, how dare you tell me 
how you feel, you know, type attitude after that. So, you know, after that, she was, uh, she's such the big bad wolf, but then she was so, she had turned into a little piggy. She wanted everybody to think she's so bad, but then once you get her, I tell her, then she, 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 she ducking and dodging. And when you walk up to her and it becomes between you and her, she moves to the side. That's right. And I ain't trying to be no bully and I ain't trying to be big and bad, but I don't feel sorry for somebody who constantly does stuff. This woman has a certain, uh, certain people that she treats like a dog. Well, no, because she treats her dog better than she treats human. But she treats some of these people absolutely ridiculous. And of course, I try to advocate for them because I hate seeing a person who is not strong enough to stand up for themselves be abused and somebody to continue to abuse them aggressively because they know that person does not have the ability to stand up for themselves. So anyway, she started doing it with me. So we had a couple of little light incidents. Then we had an incident where, like I said, we, she's always inconsistent. We never stay the whole time. We might pull off a little bit, do this, do that. So the very last time that I had a, um, a, a run-in with her, I was beginning to, you know, process my stuff and get prepared to end my shift. And she says, so I go get what I need to transport my stuff. By the time I go to get what I need to transport my stuff and come back, she has kind of reset back up what I had already took down. And I said, "Oh, okay. So, you know, I'm 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 wrapping up." And she was like pretty much like, "No, you're not. You still got let's say 15 20 minutes left." So all of a sudden 15 20 minutes matter when you didn't done things that were far exceeded that amount of time and it was okay always have been but now all of a sudden it's a problem so i simply said if if you expect me to do these things i'm trying to do them now if not i'm out she didn't believe fat me was greasy so i was out you know you do it yourself. I don't play a game with you too long. And I'm really not a game player. I really am not. I play with you long enough. So if you don't want me to do it while I'm trying to do it and you interject, then do it yourself. Simple, right? So I did that. And I recorded my time accurately because I had left 15, 20 minutes early. I didn't put the whole time. I subtracted those minutes because, you know, people will try to say you're stealing time or you're being fraudulent just because they're out for you. So I make sure I cross all my T's, dot all my I's. So anyway, after that, she was off the next couple of days. But the first day she came back, she took me completely off the schedule she had already been taking me off the schedule anyway but this time completely off the schedule because i um i tried to log in to you know check to see what the update was to see whatever and it said this employee is no longer whatever Doo -doo. so then i tried to log into the other system and it said that i didn't exist oh baby does that make you feel good for me to get that little message to say that i don't exist baby i exist can't you see me big and bold and voluptuous yes you can't erase me now you feel like you may have erased me from that situation but you can't get rid of me unless i want to go so i ain't gonna i ain't gonna lie i had some wheels turning anyway that you did she didn't even know about so fine do you boo because one thing about people like that that's trying to purposely hurt you maybe you gotta feel a little pain to hurt me and that's what you're doing because people have we have joined together and and, and established a friendship and relationship and whatever so people are being affected by what has happened and what's happening and they're not going for it either so she's gonna lose everybody she has and you're gonna have to do it all by yourself that's what she said she said she can do it all by yourself i can't stand when people say that because they know you can't 
no you cannot and if you do it it's going to be half done and you're going to be stressed out but she says oh no i don't stress i i'm a superwoman uh even though i'm a mess <laughs> even though i'm a mess <laughs> what's the song i am superwoman Oh, she still put on her vest with an S on her chest. Oh, yeah. She's a super woman. Well, you know what? Do you. But it's going to fall apart. People are going to constantly ask where I am. Um, They're going to pull back because I'm not there, you know. And there's going to be consequences. But you know what? I'm flying high, honey. I haven't missed a beat. I know you're trying to get a rise out of me. You want me to call and say, Oh my God, I tried to log into the system and I can't get in. It, it says I'm, I've am i been erased and I'm no longer and I don't have. So she's, she was waiting on me to call. Baby, 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 don't you wait because you're going to be dried up because I'm not doing it. I'm done. I'm over it. So... You know, hey, it is what it is. I mean, I guess we um, have a, a common understanding. So, we'll just let it fade out. When I feel like it, I will um, take that little dusty uh, uniform that I've been wearing, the same one for five months. Anyway, can't even get a second one. So, if you want the dusty uniform, I'll take the dusty uniform to you. And uh, you can have it because um, uh, it's no good to me because my next move doesn't require a uniform. And let me tell you how good God is. And let me tell you, when you're in the midst of something and you're trying to figure out, do I, and do I have any wrong in this? Just sit back and watch and let God work. If something comes across right in the midst of that that was totally unexpected, and better for you that's your confirmation that you are not doing anything wrong that's why god has blessed you and given you this thing so you can move on let you know that you have done because you know even though you feel like you haven't you know sometimes you'd be like well dang you know but i didn't ask myself that much in that because if somebody is upset with you because you are exceeding and you are doing a great job Baby, they have to deal with something within themselves. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Because that is what you're supposed to do. So how are you going to question that? Seriously. But anyway, tell me your thoughts. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm easy like Sunday morning. I'm cool as a cucumber. But don't get it twisted. So the reaction that she thought she was going to get from me, she didn't get so now you're down another employee you can't keep none and that's the thing that bothers me the higher ups back you up in this she can't keep nobody you short staff so when you get a couple of people who stick because they ignore your bs and they just focus on their job you do everything you can until you run them off because you feel like let me tell you what this this woman did excuse me this woman was telling everybody in the building that I was married, knowing that I wasn't, because she wanted, didn't want any of the single guys to say anything to me. Now, if that don't tell you what I was dealing with right there, then I don't know what it is. This guy came up to me and he said, I know you cooking when you get home. What you cooking? And I said, I don't know. I might just do something simple, eat a sandwich or something. And he was like, you don't do sandwiches. And I was like, sometimes. And he was like, well, I know your husband love, uh, love, you know, when you cook or what you be cooking and whatever. And I said, oh, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not married anymore. And he said, what? And I said, oh, no, I'm not married and not anymore. It's been years. It's been a long time. And he said, I know you lying. And I was like, why are you, what, why? Because I don't tell people my business. They don't really know anything. And I said, what is the big deal? Why are you acting like you're so uh, baffled by that? And he was like, she told us that you were married. And so I just started laughing. I'm one of those people, when somebody do something like that, it just makes me laugh because it just lets you see clearly how 
ignorant they are. And I said, I know you, kid. And he was like, nope. He said, she told us you were married. So then I, I took that and rolled with it, you know, went on, laughed it off, whatever. Then it came again by another person. Said the same thing. And it was the same scenario. And he said, she told me you was married. 